So you have men that grew up in this environment back in the 80s and into the 90s. What do they do? It's, it's, it's carried down. You have neighborhood people that are promoting these young kids. Like, yeah, little man, you're Show in this. The Show them the joint, little folk. This live, I'm going to delete it. Show them the joint. Yeah. Show the clip. All right, BD. BD. Think about this. You're creating a young person here, and he's growing up in an environment where people are complimenting him for carrying the gun. BD. Kids are like, hey, come on, BD, say it. Kids are like, BD. It's, a, you're in, it's an indoctrination, and, and these kids get used as what we call crash test dummies, all right? They're expendable. You get caught with a gun, ah, you're a juvenile. Don't matter, you're not really one of us anyway. So you can carry that for us, you can use this stuff for us. I can groom you. Raised, raised to hate someone you've never met. Raised that way. Your father, fuck those guys, man. Your neighbors, fuck those guys. And then reality kicks in. They've actually killed one of your friends. They shot up your house. They post some shit about you on social media. And we sit there and say, hey, kid, went to a neighbor shot somebody he doesn't know. See, he was raised like that. This is training. I can create an assassin right now. You give me a baby right now. You give me 15 years. I can't be a killer. I can do it. I know that, because that's how this works. People are like, I can't why they're in the game. I just, I would never shoot another person. Because you're operating on your normal. Your normal. Some people grow up in a different normal. And kids, want to behave like kids. And what we're doing in gang cultures, we get them not doing that. You know what's funny? Maybe, maybe there's an intervention window here we should be paying attention to.